it has not yet been implemented fully. But here again in the national policy, there is no mention of developmental disabilities like EDT and the, uh, and the ASD. So in 2002, uh, my child was diagnosed in 1990, and after which I attended a few courses and training programs and conferences and managed to uh, give him the best that uh, I could and uh, along with a lot of support from family and friends. But uh, I came back uh, to Pakistan in 1999 and then started uh, doing, uh, conducting a, I conducted a survey of the special schools and it discovered that obviously there's nobody knew anything about autism. The pediatricians did not know anything. The psychologists in the departments of psychology in the universities were curious about GSM-4 cards. So then I founded uh, this organization, Ramak. Ramak means a ray of light. And uh, launched an autism awareness campaign in 2002. Uh, organized eight seminars in different cities and the Main, I think, I, a good thing that happened was that in each and every city, I had to find some professional, a pediatrician who was popular with uh, parents, and tell him what autism was all about, and give him download material, and tell him this is what autism is, can you give a presentation? And they would make the effort, make the presentation, and once they had done that, they would own it. So this happened with uh, the Department of Psychology um, heads and everybody. Whoever gave a presentation, they became the first person. And then, of course, uh, with Mary and we all had, got together to, in 2005. And I love the title of this conference, Bridging uh, Bridges, uh, Building Bridges, because this is such a wonderful idea. We need help from each other. As Nitu was saying, we need help within the community, within countries, within uh, states and within regions. And I think that this, uh, what India is doing in the field of autism and thanks to Mary and so many others like her is tremendous and we are really learning a lot uh, from her. And this forum is providing us the opportunity, uh, the opportunity to do that. Um, what happened after this conference was that immediately there was a lot of activity in Pakistan and in 2000 five, not six, 2005 and six, a parent in Karachi, Saira, she started the autismmeetup.com website. In the beginning for about a year, there were only about 30, 25, 30 people on this. Now there are 300. And that has helped uh, making, building networks and sharing a lot of information. We have people from the India Autism uh, Meetup site also on this. And so there's a lot of interaction. And uh, an autism resource center was set up by the group in Karachi and followed immediately you know, by Lahore uh, in 2007. And then in 2006, I have had all these dates a little uh, wrong. I've just confirmed because 2006 that Kazi Fazir also joined the group and actually gave a lot of publicity to the issue of uh, autism and ESD on the television channels. So we have been organizing various seminars at LUNGS on biomedical interventions and on autism, also on TEACH in different universities, colleges, and uh, uh, just uh, auditoriums. And this has helped to raise awareness about the need. Like for example, the Special Education Department of the Punjab University had no group there about autism. Now they have one student who's doing her health in autism, which I think is remarkable. And uh, there are now at least four students of empathy and psychology at Karachi Lahore and Bishawar University. In September 2007, Rama sponsored for parents to visit Delhi to attend a conference organized by Oran, focusing on biomedical interventions. Uh, although I do not, uh, I'm not such a fan of biomedical interventions, but a lot of parents in Pakistan are following the GFCF diet and other interventions, and this conference was very helpful. Uh, because it gave them a lot of information on, on the scientific uh, uh, aspects. So we have a plan of action for 2008 and we are focusing on education, not just management of uh, children with autism. Because uh, I think that when we can concentrate so much on management, we miss out uh, on the education aspect. These people have a lot of potential and ability to learn. And I think we should always keep that in mind that they need to be educated. Uh, we are conducting various training programs. 
we are basically now have the autism awareness month probably in April 2008 when 2nd April is the declared autism uh, day. Uh, advocacy, uh, we are following the pattern of uh, AS, uh, AFA. Independent training facilities and that we are just beginning to talk about based on the pattern of SOS villages. I'm sure you have SOS villages in India. I think that's a lovely concept and if we can develop independent living facility on that model, that would be excellent. We want to exploit the Asia Pacific Disability Center to look, come out and help us. In the larger context, uh, this is the last slide. Uh, I think that we should agree on introducing compulsory disability training for all school principals and staff because it's not only autism, it is other disabilities also which are really, uh, all disabled people get marginalized in schools and um, by society. And government officials with disabilities be transferred to those departments which are working for the you know, Department of Social Welfare and Justice. And encourage institution, introduce special examinations. And this was a suggestion given by a, uh, a lady from Sri Lanka that, you know, this is a very important thing that we must have equivalent examinations for children who do not sit through a matriculation or GCSE uh, examinations. Vocational training, sheltered workshops, employment opportunities, and uh, yes, we need uh, special uh, allowances for people with disabilities. Thank you.